In today's video, we will teach you everything you need to know about the online meeting platform, Zoom. First, let's talk about getting Zoom on your device. I recommend downloading the Zoom desktop client or mobile app. Just go to zoom.us and look for the download button. Click that, then choose the Zoom client for meetings if you're on a computer. For phones and tablets, head to store and download it there. Once you've installed Zoom, open the app and you'll be greeted by the sign-in screen. If you don't have a Zoom account yet, you can create one for free. You can sign up using your email, or if you prefer, you can sign in quickly using your Google or Facebook account. Creating an account isn't mandatory for joining meetings, but it's necessary if you want to host meetings yourself or access advanced features like scheduling and recording. After signing in, you'll see Zoom's home screen, which is clean and easy to navigate. The most prominent buttons here are New Meeting, Join, Schedule, and Share Screen. The New Meeting button lets you start a video call immediately, becoming the host. The Join button lets you enter a meeting hosted by someone else by entering the meeting ID or personal link. The Schedule button allows you to set up a meeting for later with all the details configured ahead of time. Share Screen lets you share your screen instantly without joining a meeting, useful for quick presentations. If you click New Meeting, Zoom will start a video call right away. It will request permission to access your camera and microphone. Make sure you allow these or others won't be able to see or hear you. When your meeting starts, you'll see your video feed in the center of the screen. If you don't have a camera, Zoom will display your name or profile picture instead. Along the bottom of the Zoom window, you'll find your meeting controls. The first buttons you'll notice are the microphone and camera toggles. You can mute or unmute your microphone by clicking the microphone icon, and you can turn your video on or off by clicking the camera icon. These controls are essential, especially in group calls, to reduce background noise or maintain privacy when needed. Next, you'll see the Participants button. Clicking this opens a sidebar showing everyone currently in the meeting. As the host, you have special controls here. You can mute or unmute participants, stop their video feed if necessary, rename people, or even remove them from the meeting. For large meetings, managing participants is crucial to maintaining order and focus. There's also the Share Screen button in the middle of the toolbar. This feature allows you to share your entire desktop, a specific application window, or even just a portion of your screen with everyone in the meeting. Screen sharing is invaluable for presentations, walkthroughs, or collaborating on documents. When you click Share Screen, Zoom will display thumbnails of all open windows and desktops. Just select the one you want and click Share. While sharing, you can use the annotation tools to highlight parts of the screen or draw attention to specific items, which is great for teaching or explaining something visually. The Chat button opens a chat panel where you and participants can type messages. You can send messages to everyone or privately to individual participants. This is perfect for asking questions without interrupting the speaker or sharing links and files. You can save the chat transcript if you want a record of what was discussed. Recording is another powerful feature in Zoom. As a host, you can click the record button to start capturing the meeting. You can choose to save the recording locally to your computer or to the Zoom cloud if you have a paid account. Recording captures video, audio, and shared screens. After the meeting, you can review or share the recording with people who couldn't attend. Recording is particularly useful for lectures, webinars, interviews, or any meeting where details matter. For meetings involving many participants, Zoom offers breakout rooms. These let the host split the meeting into smaller groups for discussions or activities. The host can assign participants manually or let Zoom divide them randomly. Each breakout room functions like a mini meeting and the host can jump between rooms to check in. When the breakout session ends, everyone returns to the main meeting. Zoom also lets you customize your video background. You can blur your background to keep your environment private or choose from default virtual backgrounds like beaches or offices. You can even upload your own images or videos. To set this up, click the upward arrow next to the video icon and select Choose Virtual Background. This feature adds a fun or professional touch, especially when working from home. Security and privacy have become top priorities for Zoom. As a host, you can require a password for your meetings, which you can set during scheduling or for instant meetings. You can also enable a waiting room, which lets you control who joins the meeting by admitting participants manually. 
Once everyone is in, you can lock the meeting to prevent others from joining. Hosts can restrict participant actions like disabling screen sharing, chat, or file transfers to keep meetings focused and secure. Scheduling a meeting in Zoom is very flexible. Click Schedule on the home screen, and you'll see options to name the meeting, set the date and time, and choose whether it repeats regularly. You can decide if participants' videos start on or off, and whether participants can join before the host arrives. You can add a meeting password and choose calendar integrations with Google Calendar, Outlook, or others, so you can easily send invites. Scheduled meetings generate a unique meeting ID and link you can share with attendees. Zoom works just as well on mobile devices. The mobile app lets you join or host meetings on the go with access to chat, screen sharing, and participant management. The interface is optimized for smaller screens, but keeps all essential features intact. Mobile users can switch between front and back cameras, mute, unmute, and use virtual backgrounds too. For power users, Zoom has many keyboard shortcuts to speed up your workflow. For example, pressing Alt plus A, Windows, or Command, plus Shift plus A, Mac, toggles mute. Alt plus V or Command plus Shift plus V toggles your video. Alt plus S or Command plus Shift plus S starts or stops screen sharing. Learning these can save time and make meetings smoother. Accessibility is built into Zoom as well. You can enable live transcription on some accounts, which automatically generates captions during the meeting. Screen reader support and keyboard navigation make Zoom usable for participants with disabilities. Closed captions can be added by a human captioner or by using third-party services. If you're using Zoom for webinars or large-scale events, Zoom has additional features like Q&A, polling, and attendee reporting. Webinars allow hosts to broadcast video and audio to a large audience while controlling who can speak or interact. Polls let you ask questions during the session and gather instant feedback. Another useful feature is Zoom Rooms, a hardware and software solution designed for conference rooms. Zoom Rooms integrate with cameras, microphones, and displays to create seamless video conferencing setups for teams. If you want to stay on top of your Zoom account, visit your profile page on zoom.us after logging in. Here you can update your profile picture, change your personal meeting ID, adjust security settings, and manage recordings. You can also access reports on meeting usage, which is handy for businesses and educators tracking attendance. Hi. Thanks for sticking with me through this in-depth guide. If you found it helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials. If you want me to deep dive into Zoom's advanced settings, webinars, or troubleshooting tips, just let me know in the comments. Happy Zooming.